All right. Let's. I want to see. I wonder if I can finish Lake today. That would be ideal. If I could make that happen. All right, let's see. No, I definitely need to do all these. Enter. A very good morning, Providence Oaks. Theo, positive for that key. I wonder what it'll be today. Actually, no. Nancy, the floor is yours. Yeah, Jack, I've got a pet peeve. Why do people start big coughing when I'm smoking in my store? If you don't like it, just leave. Thank you much, Nancy. And, well, if you're asking, it's not like people have other places to go besides the smokehouse that you call a general store. <laughs> yeah, where else are people going to shop? Looks like it's mostly letters. Not too much to go on, but I'm making fine. I see two packages. Driving along the highway above the da -da -da. Hello? Friday delivery day. Well, just call me Friday delivery K. Okay, no, that sounded better in my head. <laughs> Someone's in a good mood today. Yes, thanks for looking after Max and Gracie last night. You were a real trooper for stepping in last minute.
Let's see. No problem. They were great. Oh yeah, I that's appreciate right, the lie. <laughs> so, how was the concert? <laughs> oh yeah, man, Journey is so good. Those songs have been stuck in my head all day. Eh, that sounds great. I know, right? There's just so much cool stuff being created right now, you know? I mean, Journey was cool. I got to know them through Barry at first, but I tell you, if Prince or New Order ever came to Portland, I would sell my spleen oh, okay. for Okay. Ma'am. One spleen, two bands. That's quite the potential dilemma. Oh, and I haven't even mentioned Cindy Lauper, or Run DMC. Or Stevie Wonder. And before you go there, I know you're probably setting up a joke about spleens and ham and organs right now. Joke's on you because I don't even know what that means. You know, music organ, body organ. Never mind. All jokes aside, though, I spent half the concert thinking about how I haven't really focused on my own music for a while now. Kids, work, all that stuff. So much going on. And I mean, I love Hello, tinkering, but right now, How I'm not sure you? I'm even creating anything cool or just, you know, not even Barry is allowed to listen to my songs at this stage, to be mm -hmm. honest. I'd love to hear your music sometime. I'm sure it's great. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Maybe I'll hold you to that. Yeah, I thinking, we believe in you. I have you. a mixtape with some of my stuff, you know? Oh, Just is it on the Switch? Out with my new if it is, you should get it. I'd be honored. That's great. It's just something I've been playing around with. Don't expect any fireworks. And hey, don't tell me what you think yet. Yeah? I am good. You'll be my secret special audience of one. So I can get Just used to the idea. Just getting into some, of an some mail delivery. Would this have anything to do with Sunday evening? Okay, don't tell anyone, but I'm mm. thinking of performing a song on my new yeah, you should get it. Sunday. Holy crap, I Is just said DLC that out loud. Is the DLC also on the Dude, Switch? you are coming the to the open mic, Seasons Greetings right? Holidays DLC? Of course, Yeah, I'm going to the open mic. On Wild Sunday. horses couldn't drag me away. But that's I don't cool, like yeah? that part. Yeah, but no whatever. else knows yet. See you there. Sure thing. Back to my own journey for now. Haha. <laughs> nope, ignoring that. Bye now. But yeah, check if they, um, if the DLC is available. Because I haven't played it, but I'm assuming it's just as good as this is. Which, like, hello. Oh, I should have gone the other way. Actually, no, that's fine. Okay. See, I may not be able to autopilot to those exact deliveries, but my house is right there, so. I can fast travel to the house or autopilot to the house.
interesting. Here's your mail. Voila. Yeah, right? Nosy Meredith, here we come with the comments. Like, ugh, enough, girl. Enough. She's always got to say something. Run her mouth. Well, that's the thing, she literally is a boomer. Because she was, she's, she left tw 22 years ago, meaning she's 40. It's 1986. So she was born in 46. That's, that's baby boomer. She's li literally is a boomer. Where's Robert? Where's the game, Robert? Meredith. There he is. Hey, Robert. How are you? I was away for a few days on an urgent job out of state. Yeah. That's my rough estimate on what year Meredith was born. I'm good. It's nice to see you again. Here's the mail. Thanks. And likewise. Hmm. Priority mail from Town Hall. Let's see what they have to say this time. Dear Mr. Harris, on behalf of yada yada yada... Concerning Environmental Management Act 1213, yada, yada, yada. Uh, wait. What? <laughs> Listen to this. We have decided to postpone the construction of apartments for at least six months. We hope this satisfies you as well as the many residents of Providence Oaks that contacted us with their unfiltered and enthusiastic comments. It Ooh. worked. The plan worked. I mean, for at least six months. Wow, but whatever, great. we're not going to worry so about that. For you, Robert. We need he to loves to read this. his mail in front of us and tell us State about his boats. business. Or something else on me. Yes. Oh, I'd love that. Great. It's going to be fun. See you tomorrow night then. Got to go now. The telephone troops need to know the assault can be abandoned. Dinner date with Robert. Game Robert.
There you go. I love how it's like, we are taking you out of the woods. Let's go. Back to the road. It looks like I'm making pretty good time, too, in the game, because it looks like I only have, um, you know, I only took like 20, 20 minutes to deliver all of this mail and go through the little chit-chat scenes. Up, oh, and we are arriving. The waxworms have arrived. Excuse me? I meant the package, Miss Weiss. It's my worms. For fishing. They're just in time. I'm taking a boat to the island this afternoon. Ooh. Great. Have fun. Hey, you can tag along if you want, like your father used to. But I'm not helping you with any waxworms. I appreciate the invitation, yeah, but we're not. fishing's not for me. Uh, suit yourself, landlubber. Oh, fuck off, old man. Just because I don't want to go fishing with you. Ridiculous. My God. Relax, bud. Relax. Yeah, this one isn't one of my uh, favorites. 
There's other ones that I prefer more. Hmm. Kay's tape. Let's have a listen. Oh, we got a tape? Okay. <clears throat> okay. Driving along the highway, headlights light up the signs. Thinking of what might have been, radio keeps track. This is, this is her friend. Hello? Hi, Meredith. Guess what I signed yes. today? The contracts for the Added 87 deal? Oh, yes. You are now talking to Steve Mitchell, CEO of a multi-million dollar enterprise. But before I continue my insufferable bragging, I have a thing or two to say, to you, about you. You've been a huge part of the success of this company. And I feel this is just the beginning. Okay. We're entering the golden age of personal computers and we've got front row tickets. The past two weeks have made me realize that I couldn't have done it without you. And I'm going to need you even more in the coming years. So here's a new monster deal I want you to think about. Become a partner in the company for 20% of the shares and a significant pay raise. Significant. The only condition is that I need your commitment for the next five years. Nope, so, I'm going to be with is. Game Robert. Thank it, you. Goodbye. Let's talk about it more when you're back in the office. Yeah. This is a bit of a surprise. Just let it sink in a bit. I don't need an answer right now. Well, my answer is no. I'm going to be with Game Robert. Lifestyle. Actually, no, I, I need to get cranking on lots of stuff. Talk soon, Meredith. The Countess and the Carpenter. Chapter yeah, four. right? No one screws better like than the Carpenter's real. apprentice. Old Mr. Nabenshoe acted like he was an expert on the topic. What he's done back there is nothing short of astounding. I'd hire him for any job and I'd pay good money for it. I never expected that the fence he repaired would survive last night's storm. Yeah, exactly. It sounds very stressful. It's a lot of hard work. Very good. A postcard from Angie. Miss Meredith, I am so, so sorry I haven't been able to see you. It's just that I've been swamped organizing my not-so-timely exit from Providence Oaks. I'm sure you understand. You've probably seen the foreclosure notice. That certainly helped expedite my decision to leave. Anyway, I find myself thinking about everything we did and talked about. I'm a little flustered, and I don't fluster easily. So, feel special, Meredith. I hear you're going to the open mic night on Sunday. I wasn't planning on going, but I want to see you before I leave. No. I'm really anxious to find out what you've decided to do. Whether you're going to stay in this town, or go back to the city, or do something else entirely. And I'm going to be forward, as you know I always am. I'd like to know if little old me figures into those plans, somehow. So, I don't like anyway, you. I'll see you there, yeah? Love, Angie. Angie, I don't like you. I... Just because I agreed to hang out with you that one time, you have it in your head that I like you, and I don't understand. I have told her like 17 times I don't want to be around you, but she's just like, yeah, I like Rob Game Robert. I like Game Robert. Happy Saturday, everyone. It's time once again for a Theo Positive or Betsy. Today's verdict is from Cheryl. Hi, Jack. I went for a walk the other day and suddenly encountered a majestic stag. We looked 
looked at each other for a few seconds, and, and then he walked off into the woods. Wow, Cheryl. <laughs> I'm glad you could retell the tale. Stags can be dangerous. Today's weather might be dangerous, too. You'll need your raincoat all day long, and... thunderstorm tonight. Back to the music. Interesting. Yeah, she does. It's like, can you not? Please. Let's see. Oh. Every time you need me, hey, I'm it's really an itch on my I'm here to stay. All right. But looking at your castle, I'm pretty sure you're safe, but still afraid. Walking in your garden. No one.
can't have ice cream, cat. And that's why he's... Oh, you're still here, huh? <laughs> yep. For now. When are your parents coming back? Actually, they might just stay in Florida. Florida? Your parents? <laughs> What's so funny about that? They'll be back soon. Florida is expensive and honestly isn't all it's cracked up to be. We'll see what happens. Sunshine and the beach get boring real fast. Well, okay. I better be on my way. Have a nice day. It makes no sense to me that it does this. Like it shouldn't go this way, but it does.
I'll leave it on the doorstep. There you go. Oh, okay. There's this guy just metal detecting. Okay. Sup? It's the mail. I'm busy. Good luck. No! Damn it! I almost had it. I almost fucking had it. Thanks for breaking my concentration. You're welcome. <sighs> Video games are supposed to be fun. I feel horrible. Absolutely horrible. Oh, is that, buddy? Oh, mine. Maybe you should try a different hobby. You know what? I can beat this damn game, and I'm not quitting until I have.
Good luck with that. Oh, can I stop having to make deliveries to this guy, please? He's the worst. Oh shoot. There we go. Yeah, this is one of them. Okay, fellow Providence Okians, it's time once again for the sent-in letters and announcements. This one's from our very own Maureen, or Mo, as we all know. Hey, folks, just wanted to grab your ears for a second to let you know all about the upcoming open mic night over at Mo's Diner this Sunday. That's right. Claim your 15 minutes of fame, enjoy some whale performances, and the usual good food and drinks for everyone. I expect to see all of y'all for a great evening. And maybe even some dancing. 
you know who you are. Come join the show at Moe's at 8 p.m. this Sunday. I'll come get you if you don't. Well, you heard her, folks. And I'll be there, too, so you better not miss it. Back to the music and to one of my favorite songs. Mail Carrier Meredith. Farmer DJ Jack. Seen any ghost drivers I love that he's both here? a farmer and a DJ. Ghost drivers? Yeah, you know, people driving on yeah, the wrong side of the road. Nope, haven't seen them. I'm sorry. Okay. I was just wondering. Don't bother. I need to get back to the live show. See you tomorrow, I reckon. Bye now. I reckon. Oh, and please close the door. Don't want to broadcast any mail truck noise. Thank you much. we rain. So good. There we go. And so ends a week full of turmoil. You can say that again. If only the Angels hadn't lost to the White Sox. That would have made it perfect. have it all, Frank. They're playing each other again tonight. Should I change the bet? Sorry, Frank, but I really don't care about sports or gambling. <laughs> Meredith, no problem. I'll stop talking about it. Or I'll try at least. Have a great weekend, Meredith. Oh, wait. This was your last day. I totally forgot to tell you. But they still haven't found someone else for the job. So, I guess... You can have it, if you want. Wow. That sounds quite nice, actually. Of course. And it's a great job. You know what? Think about it, and let me know Monday morning when you return your stuff. I gotta run now. The Red Sox are playing the Yankees. your time in the mail delivery business oh hi dad well I actually really loved it awesome maybe you should just keep doing it worked out well for me actually it seems like they haven't filled the vacancy yet they haven't well you know what I'd do no oh, hold on Meredith well, let me guess Mom wants to talk to me. Hi, Meredith. Sorry to butt in, but you're thinking about staying in Providence Oaks? Hi, Mom. 
Well, yeah, why not? I like it here. They're both well, in Florida. Wonderful, of course. On vacation. But you've got so much going on. But they're they're you gonna move to there. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's what it comes down to. Is it just work related or are there other people involved? You know, any interesting interesting ones perhaps? Well, game there are robbers. some interesting developments, yes. Oh, there are. But are they really interesting enough to give up your entire career? I really think you need to think long and hard on it. Oh, hold on. I have a suspicion Dad wants to talk to me. Meredith, I just wanted to say, you need to clean the lint filter on the dryer every once in a while. If you never do that, it could burn the house down. No problem, Dad. I'll make sure to do that. Great, thanks. I sometimes suddenly worry about things like that in the middle of the night. And it's not about the dryer, of course. I want you to be safe. And I'm sure you'll be okay. I'll tell the dryer that he's on your mind. <sighs> thanks. And could you also pet him on his back every now and then? He likes that. Oh, running out of coins. Gotta go. Bye, Em. Take care. I hope you don't think I'm a cheapskate for having dinner here. There aren't a lot of other restaurants around, and I'm pretty sure their food isn't better than Moe's. Yeah, don't like, worry about it, I haven't seen any other here. places to Thanks, eat. Meredith. This is the only, the only date. Good evening, you two beautiful people. Ready to order? Date Ladies options. First. Hi, Maureen. Look at Game Robert. He's so handsome. Steak. It's hard to pass up a juicy T-bone steak. Excellent choice, Meredith. And what would you like to wash it down with? Hmm. I think I'll have a... glass of wine. Gotcha. Robert? The usual for me, Maureen. All right, Robert. T-bone steak and a beer. Doesn't get any more lumberjack than that. Be right back, folks. Ashley, get the steaks out. Maureen's the best. Did you hear about the open mic night she's organizing? Yeah. Are you going? I wish I could go. Especially since I heard that Jack's gonna do a thing. Jack? What's he gonna do? Give a lecture about potatoes? Believe it or not, he's a very good ballet dancer. Oh? Jack? Really? <laughs> no. He's into comedy. Would have loved to peckled him. Oh well, this is a good week anyhow. Must be nice that the apartments are off your mind for a while. Alrighty, here are your beverages, folks. I'm afraid the food might take a little longer. As a certain kitchen helper thought the freezer was a good place for storing steaks. <sighs> I really should get one of those microwave no. ovens to defrost them. You seem a little stressed. Is it the upcoming open mic? Why should I be stressed about that? It's going to be lovely. And you better be there, Robert Harris. Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I won't be able to make it. Yeah. I did not just hear you say that, young man. Oh, by the way, Meredith. I need to steal him for two minutes. He needs to check on some wiring for me. Excuse me, Meredith. This is Maureen's jurisdiction. I have to <laughs> obey the law. Mmm, <laughs> that tasted so good. Thanks, Maureen, for the fantastic blueberry pie. You're welcome. It's my way of making up for stealing you away from Meredith. Ooh, I swear. She can give quite the stink eye if she wants, can't you, hon? Oh, boy. The world would be boring without her. Speaking of, are you going to miss your daily delivery round? It depends on who's on the round. Oh, anyone in particular you don't like? Oh. It's not right to gossip. So, I won't do that. Ha, huh, you're a better person than me. Oh well, small towns, can't like everyone. Can't avoid them either. Do you think you'll always live here? Nothing's for sure, but I like it here. 
I needed to change towns after my divorce. Everything and everyone reminded me of her. And how are you now? Have you gotten over it? Maybe I shouldn't bother you with the innermost feelings of a lumberjack. No, you should. Wouldn't be a bother at all. Robert and Meredith. Ugh, sorry Maureen. About the but we're closing up early tonight. Got to set up some stuff for the open mic night, and I can't use any peeping eyes. Oh, okay, Maureen. No problem. Let me get the check for you, so I can leave you two to your lovely evening. Can you put it on my tab, Maureen? Anything for you, darling. Thanks, Robert. Don't mention it. You've helped me out so much. This is nothing compared to that. Now let's get going before Maureen gets her broom out. Meredith, thanks again for your help. I'm not sure what would have happened if you hadn't come here for your mail delivery vacation. I might actually extend my stay here. Are you serious? That would be nice. So, I guess I'll see you around. Yeah, uh, okay. All right. Wagon West. Good night, Meredith. Do we dare go for the hug? We do. You too, Robert. But you're not leaving without a hug. No post on Sundays. Could never have predicted delivering mail for two weeks would be like this. I've met so many new people. Some of them are really nice. Some of them a little less so. But all of them interesting in their own way. My temporary mail job officially ends tomorrow. Whoops. Regardless of the actual experience, a change of scenery always has its upsides. That probably holds, also holds true for tonight's open mic at Moe's Diner. <laughs> anyway, I love this town. You know I do. So I'm dedicating my last jokes to specific people here tonight. The first one's for Maureen. A guy walks into a bar, and dozens of slabs of meat are hanging from the ceiling. So he asks the bartender, what's up with the hanging meat up there, man? So the bartender says, ah, you're new here. Well, we like to play a game here. If you can jump up and slap a steak, the house will pay for your drinks all night. However, if you miss, you have to pay everyone else's bar tab. So, want to give it a go? Nah, says the man. <laughs> Those steaks are too high. Huh. Huh, huh. This one's for our own newcomer, Meredith Weiss. So, a woman's driving down the freeway, but all of a sudden, she hears a local news bulletin warning drivers on the very freeway she's on. They're saying, please be advised of this very dangerous situation of a car going the wrong way. Oh. So the woman says to herself, what car? <laughs> Why, there's dozens. Well, folks, wasn't that special? Now, let me know if any of you have any jokes about Jack, you hear? It's an open mic, after all. <laughs> it's actually time for a little break right now. So come on up to the bar for some of our finest concessions. We'll continue shortly. Miss Jenkins, how are you? And how are the cats? Fine, on both counts, dear. Thank you for asking. So, do you like the hair? Looking fine as always. Thank you, dear. Pity it's quite the waste of time and oh. money, seeing as how I can't stay for long. Really? What's the rush? You see, my son decided to drop by unannounced. And he's staying oh. the whole weekend. Well, you've been complaining this whole game that you wanted him to visit. Oh, that's so. wonderful news. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, anyway, take care, dear. 
Now, where did he park the car? Yes, it's me, Matt Kearney, in an egg brace. Real funny, huh? Oh, hi, Matt. What happened? Well, I was about to send the final boss, the afterlife, but then the computer crashed. I kicked my foot out in anger and fell from my chair, and now I'm here looking like a loser. I'm sure you'll beat the game one day. Don't give up on the dream. I can't play like this, but I'm going to work out a strategy in the meantime. Guess who? Jeffrey Beaumont? <laughs> Aw, now I'm going to be a disappointment. It's Ew. just me. Aw, oh, that's a real bummer. So, what have I missed? I don't like you. Eh, not much. Jack just did some comedy. But the final act is supposed to be the real showstopper. At least, that's what Maureen tells me. Really? Well then, I guess I arrived just in time. So, how have you been? Busy packing, I guess. Super busy. Again, I'm sorry I didn't have more I time I don't like to... you, like... Hey, Meredith. Hey, Angie. Sorry to pop in like this, but I just wanted to inform you I fixed everything on the RV. She's got a new radio, I replaced some wiring, adjusted windshield wiper speed. The sea turtle is ready to go. <laughs> That's great, Lori. Thanks. I'm sure she's just like new. Well, I wouldn't say that, but you'll see. Gotta go later. An RV? You never told me you had an RV. Well, I don't like you. Kind of We're not friends. It. You know Mickey and June? The hippie couple? Sure do. They told me it was mine if I wanted it. And I did. Then Lori gave it a checkup. And now I am the proud owner of the sea turtle. I mean, that's not wow. really how ownership Good for of you. things I'd works. I love a but, free RV. You know. Uh, I don't like you. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. You can't have cool. my RV. So, where are you going to take it? Wherever I want. Not sure. Might stay here for the time being. Aw, you should definitely take it for a spin, babe. Don't call me babe. I don't oh, wait, like you. June and How did we end up I dating? I didn't... Go, leave me alone. You know, I think I'd rather be by myself for a while. I understand. Look alive, folks. It's time for the final act. It's a doozy. <laughs> <laughs> Saved by the bell, babe. I got stuff to do anyway. Okay, I'll let you know. Except Dear I won't. people, none other than our own Kay Evans will perform next. She has been writing songs since she was a little girl. And... I cannot say how thrilled I am to host her first performance of hopefully many to come. I am so proud of you, honey. Please put your hands together for Kay, everyone. It's weird. See, this is much better than the tape that we got. <laughs> much. This does not happen a lot, but you have left me speechless. That was K, people. Another round of applause.
Woo. Well, it's a good thing I didn't leave when Reynolds started his nonsense. This kid can sing. Oh, hi, Mr. Mackey. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah, it's good to see someone flourish. But I'd okay, be then go right home. Now. Isn't it fun to step out every once in a while? Smoking a pipe and reading a proper book is the only acceptable way to spend a Sunday evening in September. Okay. Bert, thank you so much for coming. I, mean, I kind of agree. I know but... you'd rather be somewhere else right now. That's okay, kid. I don't regret it one bit. You did great. But ladies, if you'll excuse me, I'm out of here. Good night, Bert. Thanks again. And now for an announcement. I'm serious, so hush now. Now, you all know that Kay has been working here at the diner for quite a while now. In fact, she was my anchor after Stan left us. And I think the time has come to formally announce right here that I will put your name above the door of this place, honey, where it belongs. Kay's place, Mo Kay's. We haven't settled on a name yet, but Mo there you go. Another round of applause. And have some drinks with us. That was amazing. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Em. It felt amazing. I was so super nervous, you know? Like, shaking and all that. I'm so glad it went well. How did it feel to be up there? Oh, it was so great to be performing again. It felt amazing. I'm all over the place right now. It was such a rush. I will definitely be doing that again. If they let me, of course. Kay's place, huh? Congratulations! <laughs> that was quite a surprise. Yeah, I told you. Mo asked me like a gazillion times, right? Kind of felt right this time. We haven't hashed out any details, as you might have noticed. <laughs> but it feels good, you know? That's great. I am so proud of you, Kay. You really have made a great life here. Thanks, Sam. I'd like to think so. Big day tomorrow, right? You know what you're going to do? Honestly? Yes. I'm staying. Well, wait, I'm not good at this stuff, so I just want to say it was good to have you back these past weeks, Sam. Really good. You just do what you feel you have to do. I'm just glad we reconnected. Promise you'll keep in touch? Whatever the outcome, yeah? Of course. And remember, be easy because I'm staying. Marches, marches on. on. <laughs> See you, Kay. Thanks. For everything. I'm staying. It doesn't matter. Why are we acting like I'm leaving? My lovely people. The time has come for the open mic part of the evening to end. Ashley was going to do a ventriloquist bit next, but I just heard he hurt his hand back in his cabin. Let me thank you again for joining us, and there's plenty of food and drink to go around. I sure do hope they're keeping things proper in there while I'm taking a breather. So, you had fun? Oh, it was great. Kay was amazing. You said it. Oh, that girl is so talented. Oh, I give my big toe to be able to do what she does behind a keyboard. Oh, sheesh. I'm still thinking about your news about handing over the diner. Kay's place, huh? That was quite the bombshell. That's my style. I've mentioned it to Kay, yes, many times since Stan died. She probably thought I was joking half the time, honestly. I just want to give her the option. It's hers whenever she wants it. And if she doesn't, that's fine too. Yeah, but how do you make a choice like that if you don't even know what your own situation will end up looking like? Something on your mind, hon? No, I'm fine, honestly. Big day tomorrow, is all. 
How did things end up with Kay? You could tell me to mind my own, of course. It's just that that girl is like a daughter to me. We talked, yeah. We really reconnected. And I'm happy we did. <laughs> Listen, you're two grown women. And if that's the choice you two ended up on, I can only respect that. Speaking of choices, mm -hmm. you've got a big day in the morning, don't you? Know what you're gonna do yet? Stick around, move back. Absolutely. Not a speck of doubt. Um, well then, stay in here. I salute your resolve. Thanks, Maureen. I best get back inside. You take care now, Meredith Wise. Take care, Maureen. Good morning, Meredith. You won't believe the weekend I had. Saturday, I placed a bet on the Angels and won. That's but they great. played again yesterday, and I let it ride, and then they lost. They're playing again tonight, and now I don't know what to do anymore. Well, Frank, the pattern is obvious. You're a gambling addict beyond salvation. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Meredith, I guess you're right, and I guess I don't mind. Speaking of gambling, I bet you're taking the job, and that's not just because you're wearing your coat. I love the coat, Frank. And yes, I want to wear it a bit longer. Fantastic. So you'll be delivering the mail today? I'll give HR a call and tell them the vacancy is filled. Uh, not so fast, Frank. It's under one condition. If you get in a predicament with Walter Morgan again, you're on your own. Ha, you got it. I'll have Morgan for breakfast. Now, let's get to work. The mail doesn't deliver itself. Okay, let's like see what today's day weather day will be like. P.O. people, good morning. Today's weather will be nothing short of gorgeous. And I can't wait to go outside and head out to the acres. But not before sharing, you know what? P.O. positive or pet peeves? I don't need callers for today's P.O. positive. I'm picking it myself. <laughs> I'm talking about Moe's open mic last night. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it as much as I did. And I'm sorry if I offended anyone with my jokes. Well, no, actually, I am not sorry. Not sorry at all. Thank you much, Mo and Kay, for hosting it. It's just one of the things that makes Providence Oaks the best place in the world. Have a great day. Yeah, that's what I'm spitting on right What's now. this guy up to? Going, well, Wait, is street, that Robert? Like yeah, yeah, Robert, I'll pull over. Hey, Meredith, sorry about that. I hope it didn't scare you. Hey, Robert. What's going on? Well, What's going on? well this is going to sound super awkward and hopeless and desperate and probably a lot more things, but I don't want you to leave. I uh, decided good, a while ago I'm staying. that I'm done with stuff like this, but I guess it's not something you can decide. <laughs> <laughs> Robert, that's so sweet of you, but I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, I figured you'd say that. I wait. What? You're not going? Yeah. Yep. It's nice here. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, great. Well, I might as well blurt it all out. I like you. A lot. And I didn't want to give in to it. I've I been like you a too, game, once, Robert. And I didn't want to risk ever feeling like that again. Well, I'm in a raid right now. So, what do you propose? That I just get in your car right now? Well, I wasn't gonna propose, but yeah, Meredith, I'd love that. I was gonna say I can't do I can't that. Do that, Robert. Not right now. You know what? I'll call you. Okay, Meredith, I understand. And yeah, calling sounds good. I'm not going to abandon day. the mail Thanks, truck. Robert. 
That's wild, abandoning the mail truck. Sorry for button in, folks, but I've got a special treat for y'all. I just updated my playlist. This new song is from our very own K. Evans. Yeah, one extra song.
said two days in a row now 